Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how I made this Mishra Via window covering for a window in the shop that looks and functions great. Stick around to see how we made it. Putting down a piece of quarter inch plywood on the Stepcraft Q408 CNC machine to create a Mishrabia window covering for a window that we have in the shop that's currently covered by a piece of paper that looks directly out into a hallway. So we want to do that here. I love using the Stepcraft CNC machine because of the UC CNC control software. It gives you a preview of what everything looks like within space. So I know exactly where I can use some brad nails to help hold this down. My vacuum is definitely not powerful enough and I'm not sure any vacuum would be powerful enough to hold all of this in place while we're cutting everything. So I use that to be able to locate my brad nails so that I don't run into those while we're cutting it. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. Starting out with the 46202-K quarter inch down cut bit to go through and pocket out most of the waste. I could do this in just a profile pass, but I don't want all of the waste material to be on the inside so it could affect the bit or cause the bit to break or something like that. But I do think it's really cool to see this pattern all going through here. With the Mishrabi, I wanted to have two different patterns because I really like the shadows that it creates. I think it's really neat to see that pattern coming through. We'll get the bit switched out for the 46176 1 8 inch compression bit. And this is going to go and leave a clean cut on the top and bottom surface of the material. So the quarter inch bit cut out all of the waste and this is just gonna come back in and touch up those corners so that we can have a nice clean top and bottom surface of the material and also leave a smaller radius on the edges. For the larger pattern, that didn't come into effect so much, but with the smaller pattern, there were definitely a lot of details that this ended up picking up. So anyways, after that, we got the profile all cut out and after 1600 profiles, I was really impressed to see just how well this bit did. It left a perfectly clean cut, even on the final profile cut and you could hardly see any sort of wear on the bit at all. And you can see even that on the last profile that it cut, we're still left with a nice clean top and bottom surface of the material, which is exactly what we wanna see, especially with that many cuts to do. So now we can move over to the table saw to make the frame for this piece. We'll use the PR1040C blade on the saw stop table saw. We got everything all ripped down and then cross cut, and then we can get everything set up. I dropped the height of the blade to cut the grooves for the panels to fit into, as well as some frosted acrylic in the center. So we got all three grooves cut and everything is now ready to go and we can begin assembly. I'm using the Craig Foreman. Uh, this is just to drill pocket holes really quickly. Uh, just a regular pocket hole jig would work as well. But we use that to create all of the pocket holes to join the frame together. We did that all on the outside. So that way when it's inserted into the window, it will not be seen. We got that all assembled. Now we can drop our panels into place. And it's really cool to see the light change as we're doing this. This is a traditional use for these Mishrabia panels where they are used for window coverings, but they can also be used for interior design or any sort of architectural work as well. They're really neat. But we got the frame made as well, just assembled that using pocket holes, and this is gonna be what sits on the outside of the window. And then we can get everything all inserted into the window. It's really nice to see this. I absolutely love walking into the office and being able to see this instead of the paper, and it definitely makes everything look a lot nicer. I'm really happy with how this project turned out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We will catch you guys back out here on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.